we're going to be getting into translating and solving one-step equation word problems. So you're going to often hear mathematics described as a language. The reason why math is often described as a language is because it gives us tools to describe values and their changes. Uh, we often are able to translate sentences into mathematical statements and equations. So this process helps us better understand problems surrounding quantities of change. So here are some strategies that we're going to talk about on the next couple of slides. We have visualization, drawing a picture, underlining keywords, making number sentences, and then using number lines. So you don't need to do all of them, but all of them will help. Uh, so the first is visualizing the problem. So imagine what's going on. If you were in the situation, how would you think about it? What would you do? How would you act? Uh, and the next one is drawing a picture. So you illustrate the problem to better see the operations. The next is underlining keywords. So you're highlighting underlining keywords in order to bring attention to the operations that are happening. You're making a number sentence or an equation in order to help you better solve the problem. And then you're also using a number line. If, you if you're having a hard time uh, counting with negative numbers or having an idea of like where uh, to go from starting with a negative number, using a number line can be really helpful. Okay, so these are some operation keywords. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division keywords. Uh, for addition, we have both all together, uh, in all, sum, total, combined, plus, join, more, and increase. For subtraction, we have minus, remain, leave, left, less than, less, fewer, decrease, difference, how much more, spend, and take away. Multiplication, you have factor, equal groups of product, twice times by, uh, multiply as much and per, and then you have divided by, uh, dividend, divisor, quotient, equal parts, equal groups, shared equally, uh, split evenly out of each, every, among, and average for division. Okay, one step word problems only require one step in order to solve. So you're only going to be doing one operation, just one operation, and then doing that uh, operation to both sides of the equation in order to solve. So this is the first example. We have Samir has 23 followers on Instagram. After a recent posting, X new people started following him. If he has uh, a total of 52 followers, how many people uh, started following him? So the first step is to identify the operation, which is addition. So if we're adding followers, so new people started following him, we know that it is addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. Now to write the equation, we know that our we know that our equation is going to have addition in it. So we have 23 plus X because we have 23 followers to start. And then I'm adding X new followers. And now I have a total of 52. Now, in order to solve the problem, we're going to be subtracting. So we're going to subtract 23 from both sides. And then we're left with 29. So, but for these, since we have word problems, we have to translate and conceptualize what does 29 mean? So that's our last piece, is we have to remember to interpret the answer in the context of the problem. 29, in this case, means 29 new people started following him. So he has 29 new followers, okay? The second example, we have like, now Sarah was given D dollars for his birthday. He spends $32 at GameStop, and now he has $88 left. How much was he given for his birthday? So the first idea here is to identify the operation that's happening. If he spent money, and another strategy would be to underline spend, he spent $32, he's subtracting $32. Then the opposite operation of subtraction is addition. I'm going to write the equation. He started with D dollars, he's subtracting $32, and then it equals $88. Okay, now I'm going to solve the new equation. I'm going to add 32 on both sides. And then I get 120 as my solution. Now, we have to remember that we have to interpret what 120 means in this situation. So in the context of this problem, 120 means $120. Okay. So uh, for the third example, we have Kasim gets paid H dollars per hour. He works 11 hours and makes $121 in total. How much does he get paid an hour? So here, this big keyword here is per. So it's H dollars per hour. So the operation here is multiplication. We're going to identify the opposite operation, which is division. 
we're going to write the equation. We have 11 times H equals 121. So this means $11 per hour, or we're $11, excuse me, 11 hours, and he's working the H hours, and that's equal to 121. Now we're going to solve the equation. We have 11 times H is equal to 121. We know that we're dividing, and we get H is equal to 11. We have to make sure that we translate that in the context of the problem. So H is equal to 11 means $11 per hour. Now the last example, I have Kyrie uh, divides his V video games into six groups. Each group contains seven games. How many games does Shane have? Why did I change the name from Kyrie to Shane? I'm sorry about that. Wow. Let's change that real quick. Jeez. Okay. There we go. Okay. So if I'm dividing here, now you can see my whole, my whole thing here. Uh, if I'm dividing, that's my keyword. Okay, so that's always going to be your first step. Whatever you identify as your operation is going to be your first step. Now, your second step is identify the opposite operation. So the opposite operation of multiplication or of division is multiplication. So I'm going to write the equation out, okay, which is V divided by 6, because I know it's divided, and I went into 6 groups, equals 7. So there's 7 games in each group, okay? So now... What I'm doing is I'm doing this multiplication on both sides. I'm going to multiply by 6 on both sides, and then I get 42. So we always have to remember to interpret this in the context of the problem, which is 42 video games, okay, 42 video games, or 42 games, okay? Please feel free to contact us with any uh, questions, comments, or concerns. Sorry, Kyrie, if you're watching this for the butchering of this problem, but I hope you enjoyed my kindergarten handwriting Um but yeah, please feel free to contact us with any questions, comments, concerns. We'd love to see you guys in the chat. Um, yeah, have a great day.